there you are. Whoops. I have my hair down like this because I got these moles right here on the sides of my head. And, 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 and if I don't have my hair covering them, then you can see them. But yesterday, the old doc, the doctor, he froze them. So they're going to be coming off. And then I can pull my hair back again. And I won't look like I got some leprosy or whatever. I don't know. Oh, by the way, good morning. How are you all today? Today's Saturday morning. My husband's still asleep. I wanted to show you something, though. I've been looking for a old Rolodex at the um, thrift shops and the Goodwill and stuff, but I found one. And, and I looked on to buy, like, a new one, and Lord have mercy, they want an arm and a leg for those things. And I don't want to use it for like, what a Rolodex is supposed to be used for. So, oh, hi there, Oliver. And that's my dog right down there. And, um... And, um, and so I don't want to spend that kind of money. So I got to thinking, I got to thinking. Now let me show it back to the showroom floor, right down there. Okay, now let me just turn this thing here like this and turn this down like this. And there we go. This is what I've come up with. This here is a little like a composition book. My friend Cheryl gave me that. She gave me three of them. I know. She's awesome. She might not my, my BFF. Okay, now, um, and so what I have done thus far, this is what's in my head. I took each page here, and I folded each page in half. Just folded it, just folded it, and tucked it in. So each one is folded in half. This is my idea. Okay, then I cut this piece of chipboard. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece of chipboard right to the bottom. That's going to give it some stability. And we all need some stability in our lives. And my fake, okay, maybe, what should we call it? Not fake, but we'll call it like that faux, like F-A-U-X or however it is spelled. Yeah, we're going to be, it's going to be a faux Rolodex. You know what? I should have my camera on this side over here because I'm right-handed. Then I would be like this. That's what I should do. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do here anyway. Too late now. I'll do it the next time. I'm going to put... See, I had already cut that. I had measured with my ruler. I measured how big I would need that thing to be. So... There. Now I got that whole cover glued to that piece of chipboard. I could cover that chipboard even to put something purdy on there, but I'll do that later. So then I found these this piece of, this piece of paper. I thought it was pretty cool. It's got little monsters on it. And since I'm from a family of monsters, not perfect fit. So I'm gonna take this monster mash paper and I'm going to glue the bottom on there I mean glue it on the bottom and then we'll put that one on this side like thusly just to make it pretty because we do want pretty we do want pretty and then on this other side let's see what I can do left handed now I'm going to glue the left side I mean the other side left handed when I see but oh was dropped it in the floor now and then I'll put that that one right there see now let me scooch it out there we go there we go there we go there we go that one's good okay now and then I'm gonna take this here corner chomper and I'm gonna chomp the corners well maybe I will uh, yeah I will Oh, that was tough. And then I'm chomping. Now, some people can do this like, just like nothing. But for me, nah. I got to have, I used to be strong like bull. Strong like a bull. But now that I'm old, I'm not strong like bull. Maybe I need to eat my Wheaties in the morning. I don't know. So now here's what I have so far. That's the book and all the folded pages. 
and it's made stiff because I put the cardstock under there and then I put the pretty paper. I know it's monstrous, but it's still pretty. <coughs> now the reason for this beautiful item for me is okay, just a second. I want to do one more thing. I'm just was just now just now thought of this. And I stretched around here. Let me see. Will this oh yeah. This is good. Do I want this color? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to give this some pizzazz. Pizzazz is what we look for in everything we make. I'm gonna squirt this. Oh give it a little squirt. Look at that how that is. Now that's pretty. That's pretty. Now that's enough squirting, Elizabeth. Now let me just get my little wipey here. And let me wipe this off. Oh, it's not going to wipe off, but that's okay, you know. Well, then maybe I better, just so I think it's intentional, I'll put some up there too. There we go. Now, now then, look, just look at that. Boy, am I ever smarter what? Now I'm going to um, make sure it's dry. Doesn't take much to dry this stuff because it just dries near about instantly. But I just want to be sure. And so, that dry. that's pretty, isn't it? That looks pretty. I like it. I love it. I do love that. Maybe I should put some on the edge. No, I guess enough got on the edge. It's okay. No. Yeah, that seems to be dry. Okay. Oh, gotta make sure my monsters are right. Okay, now. This is what I'll show you now why. I have this um, this bunch of just little cards, and I call these my journaling or my um, prompts for prompts for art journaling. They're prompts for um, just whatever I'm doing, mostly art journaling, I guess. And um, so, because then I, because I get started doing something, and then I, um, then I think, oh, well, what can I do next? And so I, I um, look through my little cards here, and I see if there's something on there, you know, oh, maybe I want to put a quote on there. Maybe I want to draw some polka dots, or maybe I'll put a napkin on there and decoupage it on. Silver tape I use a lot, flowers, washi tape, greeting card images, splatter paint, stamps, paper clips. But it's just, you know, a lot of different things that I have on my little cards. So what I decide, and, and then usually I find, wind up with this big fat mess of cards all over my, because I just throw them then. I just, you know, I say, oh, I'll do that one, and then I use it, I do it, and then I throw it somewhere, and so, so then it's just thrown somewhere, and so, I should put this on here, yeah, that's better, now you can see it better, but, um, because this is my big fat mess, and, and so what I decided I'm going to do, I, I just got started with this, I just got actually started with this, um, Rolodex thing, oh, there's a couple more, see how I just, have things everywhere. All right. Now, so what I started doing with this, this might give you an idea. This here is um, masking tape, where I just, where I just um, tore pieces of masking tape on here, off of here, and on this one I just put some. It's masking tape and distress oxide ink. That's all I have on that one. That's it. The, um, more stuff could go on there, but that's it on there. Now, instead of just having a card that says masking tape, I have this actual sample of the masking tape, and then I write on the back what I used it for. So, now what I'm going to do is these, see, I wanted to do that with a Rolodex, but I couldn't find a Rolodex that I could, like, afford. And so, and then like this one, this one is the leaf print, 
where you go get a leaf from outside and you put some um, acrylic paint. I got it wrote down the back. Uh, uh, and any paper, any kind of paper, acrylic ink, I mean paint. And um, this one was put on a, a book page. You can put it on any kind of paper. But I love how them turn out. And those are good in for mixed media, your um, art journals, whatever. So that's another idea. And so that will just go into my Rolodex. This here is just nothing but glimmer mist. But sometimes I don't think about the glimmer mist when I'm working on um, on an art journal page or a mixed media something. I don't think about it. it but having it in my um, Rolodex, I shouldn't call it Rolodex because it's not a Rolodex. It's, i got to think of a different name. And this here one, this is the dendritic painting that I made a video on that the other day. The dendritic, dendritic or den whatever, painting. And I love that. I think that is so pretty. So I wrote on the back. What you need, two panes, which I wrote panes the wrong way, so I wrote it here the right way. Two panes of glass, paper, acrylic paint, drop paint on glass, lay second piece of glass on top, press, pull top glass off slowly, pull print on paper, or on labels to make stickers. See, because here, this was a page of labels right here, of like the Avery labels you can get. And so I just did some pulled some prints right on the labels and then when you pull the label off you have a print and so then that's another one and so this is what I'm going to do and they just slide right in there and so I'm going to be I'm going to use these in here as long as I um until I get until I get my um no, 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 no. I can't talk this morning until I get my samples made. But this is all going to be full of samples. And so I can just put these in here. And instead of throwing them all over my desk while I'm working on something, I, I'm going to just have... So these are just what's going to be in here now. And um, drywall tape fairies. I got these little stamps of fairies. I just love little fairies and I'd like to hide them. Staples, stickers, watercolor crayons, now outline, outline your prints, nice modeling paste, decoupage, but I have all of these, all of these in here. And then I can just kind of flip through and by having the little samples, it's going to be even, even nicer. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to like it much nicer when I get all the samples done and I'm not gluing them in or anything. I'm just, they just, they'll just stay in there. So anyhow, that's that's what I wanted to show you today. Maybe I'll put the tall ones in the back. Or maybe I could put them in alphabetical order. No, I'm that would be too OCD for me. And I am have I have no OCD nothing. And so, but see, they just make a big fat stack there. But this is going to be my little my little prompadex. It's got prompts in there. So I'm gonna call it my my prompadex. That's all. Okay, that's all. I, you'd think I was going to keep you again for another hour, but I'm not going to. Um, because, I think that's my coffee. Oh, is this my coffee? Yeah, it is. Look, my daughter gave me this cup. It's beautiful. It says, love you, mom. And on here it says, love you, mom, inside, right there. And inside there, my coffee's almost gone, but it's not gone. But it's morning, so... It'll be gone before you know it. I gotta put that one in different. That's pretty. I really loved the um, the the, the um prints from the acrylic paint and the leaf. If you haven't seen that video I made, I made that a couple days ago. You have to look at that because in this one I made a couple days ago too. But see how that they just pull out and then you just stuck them back in there, and they just fit in there because I just folded them papers in half. 
you know, like my thumbprint on it. Okay, so that is my Prompidex. I'm glad you watched. Let me see, only 15 minutes on this one. So I'm, I'm doing good because usually you know me with the gift gap. Okay, all right, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. And so now you can get on with your day, with your weekend, whatever. And um, I might go take another nap. I'm tired. And yeah, and so I want to wish you all a good day. And I say I love you because I love you because you're watching me again. And, um, and um, maybe you want to do this. Maybe you want to do something like this. And you can use it for other stuff, too. You can just put pictures in it. You could just cut a whole bunch of pages the same size, stuff them in there. But just art journal on them or journal on them or do whatever on them. Just doodle on them. You can whatever on them. And um, that'd be fun on them. Just, just have fun. Whatever you do, have fun. Okay, God bless you all. Thank you for watching. And, um, and may God watch every step you take, every move you make every breath you take today and every day forward and and come back again because you're my friends and I love my friends I really do okay all right that's it and now I reach over here and I get my little mouse out of his sleeping bag okay and there there it goes and bon voyage no that's not what you say just farewell all right okay and say howdy to your neighbor bye-bye